Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Dr. Mundo Jungle. He can be a bit finicky to pull off but with the recent nerf of Borks. It's better than it's been in a decent amount of time. Mundo as a whole is very, very strong. Iron through Emerald. Once you hit your two item power spike, assuming you're not giga far behind, you start to run the game over. You do want to watch out for max health damage characters. People who are just going to take massive chunks out of you. Every single auto attack or every single ability. That can be kind of hard to deal with. The easiest example is characters who go Leandris, like having to deal with brands uh, and other burn characters like a soul. It's really, really tough. It can be done though. You can always pick up a Canning Force of Nature. But as a whole, watch out for them. Their team looks pretty good for us. They do have Trundle R, which will be annoying, but we should be fine. Trundle went Ignite Ghost. For your runes on Mundo Jungle, you can go Fleet, totally fine. The thing is, Mundo E does more damage to Lauren Health he is anyways. Uh, so yeah, Grasp is coming back into the jungle meta a little bit. It's literally Skarner Jungle's highest winner at Keystone, Mundo Jungle as well. So go Grasp, Demolish, Conditioning, Overgrowth, lots of scaling with free boots approach, more scaling with attack speed, double scaling health. One thing about Grasp is since Mundo starts the fight generally by throwing a cleaver, you can get in combat pretty early on him to build the Grasp stack, get it ready. So it's not like you have to walk all the way into it. I'm going to just smite him out. Auto Q auto. Auto E. Your cleaver does way more damage the healthier something is. So if some if a monster or minion or champion's full health, the cleaver's gonna do a lot more damage that way. If something's almost dead, the cleaver's gonna do a lot less. So far so good. Up against Graves, Graves Jungle is the meta. If you're up against any kind of early game jungler, regardless of what champion you're playing, try to start on your red buff. We're gonna AoE splash the monster there. Any small monster we can just immediately slap with our E. Otherwise, against anything else, it has to be the last hit to get the big AoE damage. But uh, normally you should just use your E and splash immediately. We'll go a point in W here. Starting on your red buff makes it to where them invading you gets less and less value. Because invading in League these days, the main value is derived from killing the enemy jungler and taking a camp. Or near getting their flash and taking their camp. But if you're just taking a camp and that's it... Like, if he took my blue there, the value he would have gotten from that alone isn't that great. Not quite enough to justify it. Like, if he comes back and tries to kill me and takes my blue, then that would be pretty good value for him. I would have thrown Cleaver at Grump. I don't know where Graves is. Auto E reset. Down goes Talia. She wasn't really paying attention on that one, but I did ping kind of late. We'll smite it. We just did a 317 leashless full clear. Not bad for a relatively off meta jungler. I'm going to ghost in. I missed the cleaver. I got W on. Auto E. Auto Q. Got the cleaver down. Auto Q. Auto. Got it. Ooh, the minions finished me. That sucks. I needed a heal there. We don't have triumph, so we didn't get a burst of healing, but hey, not a bad gank. We came in at the perfect time. For first item rush, it's pretty much always hard still to get the scaling going. I'm not going to buy control ward because we want to be able to uh, hit our first item power spike as soon as possible. Heart still does more damage the more health you have, and the more damage it does, the more health it gives you. It's a growing feedback loop. And Moon, of course, the more health he has, the more healing he gets from passive. A w. His R and his E does more damage as well. The only ability that doesn't scale off of health is Mundo's Q, which technically doesn't scale off of anything, really. We want to get behind this guy. Oh, it's worded. That sucks. My teammate isn't paying attention at all here. Auto Q, Auto E. Well, York's kind of out of juice there. I'm just helping York push the wave. He's kind of low health, low mana at the time. We came forward and smashed Trundle. I'm going to continue with my full clear. You don't really want to gank if it's not going to be a kill on a heavy farm jungler like Mundo. You just end up putting yourself really far behind doing that crap. So our abilities are on cooldown. We'll pull this out a bit. We get the E slap, kill the whole wave. We could throw the cleaver and immediately hit the small one. Uh, yeah, that might just be best because it's hard to find the angle from this side farming top to bottom against the big raptor. Let our jungle pet chew on him, hit him with the Q. 
You generally do max the cleaver first. The damage goes way, way, way up. Got my W on. The clear is pretty healthy even without fleet. Fleet used to be essential before Mundo's rework when you'd leave his W on to those flames. They'd suck away your health constantly. It's Mundo doesn't really operate that way anymore. Fleet is no longer essential, although it is still good on him. And an overall keystone pick. Oh, it's awarded. I can't. Got Graves with my cleaver. Got with another cleaver. W on. Auto E. Smacked his corpse away like it was a, a dirty soccer ball there. Another cleaver. Auto E. Ooh, Ash took a turret shot. That's risky business. I might die. Yep. Auto E. I'm dead. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I couldn't really get out at that point. I should have probably just kept running south. I didn't realize Zoe was that hot in all my hills there. Oh well. Let's go for the red buff. Almost level 6. She did a good job holding on to her Q. She didn't throw it too early. She was able to land it. She also did ignite there. Jinx seemed to be in base for 10 years, man. She was gone forever. Auto E. Your W does heal you more if you're by a champion when it goes off. At least one enemy champion restores for 100%, otherwise it's just half of the damage soaked. When you're playing against Mundo, try not to be inside of his W. You want to end, so he'll heal for a lot for the damage he's taken. Get the splash. I have two smite charges. We'll throw a cleaver, get the camp aggro, pull it to us. We can definitely solo the enemy, most enemy jungle champions on Mundo once we're at level 6, assuming we're not behind. We have a huge health pool to pull from, save our when we're low on health, because it heals us more the lower in health we are. Oh, he took one of them, that's weird. Normally the rule of thumb, the metas become you only take two grubs no matter what. Because when you take the third one, it spots you on the map. It tells the enemies, so-and-so is taking the grubs. Ooh! It tells the enemy team that. So you only need to take two. And then on, on the next grub spawn, you take two. Four is the magic number anyways for getting the void mites. So there, since he had taken one, kind of forced us to finish the camp. Now they know I'm top side of the map. Auto W. I'm not going to use my... Or I should say auto E-reset. I'm not going to really use my W to farm with. It doesn't do that much damage at this stage of the game. I kind of need it for fights. It's a long cooldown. It's only going to speed up my clear a tiny bit. I have so many points in my cleaver and I got items and stuff. Could potentially go top. Could potentially go mid. Yeah, I'll go mid. Zoe no boots. I'm 345. Ooh, she just killed my laner. She's 340, so I technically am faster. I'll ghost early, try to get my ghost away from her. She can't sleep me. Auto E, got her smited. Auto, I'm on my R. Got it. Yeah, Mundo's immune to all hard CC with his passive. So with the, it's a sleep, a stun, knock up. The only, what beats Mundo is slow. Slows beat the crap out of him. Auto E, I gotta get away from this guy. Dang, I missed the cleaver too. That's rough. I'm on a control war too. I could potentially just suicide. I probably should have stuck with Talia. That's my bad there. I am kind of low though. Got him with the cleaver. Got him with the smite. Another cleaver. Got my W on. Reactivated it. Turn around, try to hit him. That sucks. He did ignite us. We're soaking a lot of ignites at the moment. Nice. Alright, he beats Graves here if he just fights it. He's got Maiden. He can use the minions to kind of outplay Graves' autos. We got our heart still. We'll go for against their team. They're very 80 heavy. Push plated. Second item on Mundo Jungle is almost always, if you're ahead, Titanic. Otherwise, you can look for 
Uh, Warmogs is also pretty good, to be fair. I'd be fine with Warmogs against their team. If their team was more melee heavy, I'd say Titanic, but getting in range to auto them, I'm going to lose a lot of health. I'll go for Zoe here. She's tier 1 boots. I'm tier 2 boots. I should be quite a bit faster. My, I have fast free boots as well. She's sorcery tree, so she's not going to have those. Ah, uh, she's dead. Auto E. Dang. Lucian and Nami putting a beat down. I'm going to eat them up. They don't even have boots. They should have just ran. That was really greedy of them. I'm on a ward. They should suicide in my turret. People don't like to do that, though. Auto EQ. I'm going to arm down. Well, I got a kill. I also got their heal. Off Lucian. It's pretty good. Got it. Surprised she didn't stop her back there. My teammates didn't even push the lane. How are we supposed to kill her? Alright, we got it. Yeah, it's a one for one. They should just push the wave. That's troll. I don't really want to stay for Lucian. Drag up one minute. There's always a decent option here. She's tier two boots, though. My conditioning just came in. That'll be nice for Zoe. Missed my cleaver. Feels bad. I have approach to get to this guy. Gotta turn on Zoe. Got my W on. Auto E. Well, she ignited me. We gotta run, though. Unless Ash is just gonna strip solo this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Zoe bubble hit me from absolute nowhere land. Yeah, that's rough. Really forced fight there. Yeah, it was really forced. Probably just gonna farm a little bit heavier. Their Zoe gap is... She's doing a lot. They're gonna get this dragon. Her bubbles... She does so much damage for, for right now. Until I have Spirit Visage, Zoe can actually kind of half health me. They're both tier 1 boots. Looks like Talia's TPing bot side. She's going to muff my gank. I'm coming. This is dicey though. Miss my cleaver against my auto E. Auto Q. Yeah, these fights are so bad. People just kind of do whatever and they die and then they get mad that they died. Got the cleaver. Swatter away. I want the heart still stacked. That's two stacks. That's why I was delaying my autos. It's pretty good for us as a whole. It's a lot of gold. Auto E. Could stay for Lucian potentially. I'd rather get red buff. Got the cleaver auto E. Close fight, Graves. This is a really close fight. Nice, nice, nice. He's a full item, which is funny. He's a full item and a bunch of partials. I'm a full item and a bunch of partials. Just the character difference at that stage. I was only level 9, so I was one level up at the time. We can heal off this. Our pet's going to heal us a lot. Just being combat with monsters. I'm going to go bot weather, dad. I'll leave my top side uncontested, I guess. This bush might be warded. Hey, Nami. Cleaver misses. Jinx went for red buff. Alright, I wasted my time. My red buff's left open now. Dang, they got shut down over there. That's rough. Jinx is putting herself in a really bad spot. I can't even get here in time. This bot lane is not easy to play for at all. 
Dude, Lucian literally still has his R. <laughs> Lucian still has R. Like, how is that even a thing? Holy moly. They still got everything. Full health, full abilities. I might have to get Thornmel here. I hate Thornmel. Maybe just I'll get uh, Randuins for the crit resist. Wasting a lot of time on bad ganks though. My bot lane's too far behind for me to even gank for them. You need a gank window as a drama, whether that's anywhere from 2 to 20 seconds of your teammates being able to survive while you're ganking. So if, if they die within a second or two seconds of you, essentially walking towards the area, you can't get there in time to save them. So yeah, great. I lost my whole topside for that day. I knew it was a possibility. I'm gonna R away. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna go for the Nami. I think Nami flashed? I can't even tell. Huh. I guess we don't want to fight this. Got some heart still. I guess it's one for one. Not horrible. York's full committing. It was a weird fight though. Very close underneath their turret. He gets one for one. Auto E. Graves is probably going to walk into me. I got to go deal with Lucian. Just walking around. I'll reset whatever. I have 3k. It's not worth me walking over there. Oh, Trundle messed up the Herald. What a goose. It's so funny. Uh, like how much people still struggle to use it. Very happy I went for plated with how big of a deal Lucian is at the moment. It's always certainly fed too, but not on the same level as Lucian. I can't get to this guy in time. Good ghost, but he'll just press R, I'll lose most of my health, I'll have to back away. Like right here, I'm basically dead. I'll just throw a cleaver and run here. We gotta give dragon again. That sucks. We're not gonna be able to beat Draxol too. There's no chance. This isn't so luckily, but it's gonna get them darn close to it. I should be able to beat Trundle. Auto W. It's just not like if I stand still and fight him. I have to kite it. <coughs> He's fast. What the hell? Got with the smite. I don't know if Tilly's going to chase. <coughs> and I'm choking out. Yeah, he popped Ghost and got away. Shoot. He's moving so freaking quick. I don't think they know. Ooh, uh, yeah, that was a bad dash, my man. Missed my cleaver. Dang it. Gonna get him with the cleaver. I just gotta run. Nice. Well, this is still a rough fight. Auto E. I just can't move. Yeah, I just couldn't move. That was close. If I could have gotten it off on Lucian, he was dead. That was a really, really tough fight. It almost went well. If I could get off one or two autos there, I could get a kill or two. Dang. Gotta get to Titanic here. Whew. Need heal cut. Probably just get it on the Ash. Executioner's Ash, you can AoE apply it. Yeah, Jinxel, I don't know about that. Maybe. 
I don't expect much from this Jinx, though. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting anyone else to really come there. No, oh, I'm not even there. It's always fast as heck with those Nami enchantments. I gotta pick that up. Zoe bubbles a super short cooldown if she hits it, and she is definitely hitting these. Someone might have to reset for Trundle. And someone, someone has to reset. Yeah, York just needs to match Trundle. There's no reason for him to be splitting opposite lanes. That Graves dash, though. The Titanic active will let us swat Lucian with one or two autos, like auto Titanic reset. As long as we get the Titanic proc or the uh, heart still proc, he should die. Heart is doing almost 400, plus we have 253 AD. I'll go for him here. <clears throat> Got W on, auto E, he smited and missed my freaking Q. Had to turn on my R just to keep up with that son of a gun. They're doing a really good job of dodging my cleavers. I'm trying to hold on for like as long as I can, but. Oh, my passive's still on cooldown. That sucks. I want these heart stills. Oh, I, I'm dead here, I think. I can't move. That sucks, man. Yeah, I just can't move. Nami slow. She went back in. That was really tough. But not sure if I'm going to be able to carry this one, man. <sighs> Made and bought. They're just not able to counterpart very hard here. Like, Lucian Nami could probably kill Talia, Jinx, and Ash all at once. 2v3. Or even Zoe, Zoe or Lucian or Zoe and Nami, same thing. So strong. As long as they don't get soul, we're fine. We have no follow up here though. Yep. That's great. Oh, did they get graves here? They got graves. Auto E. All right, that's big. That's big. Zoe threw so hard. Ash giga threw, and then Zoe decided to giga throw. They don't get dragon now. <clears throat> no one's over here, but they don't have smite, so I don't think they can outsmite me really. I have enough AD to get through this slowly. Auto E. That E. Holy crap. That was some big damage. These E's are... <laughs> these E's are doing a lot. Got the cleaver. There's the heart still. That's not bad, honestly. They got chunked pretty hard for that. I also got a heart still out of it. It's pretty good. Yeah, we want to take this away. The thing is, we infinite scale since we have the Mundo heart still. The enemies don't inf they don't have a single infinite scaler on their team. That's why they need like they need Draxel badly. Cause they're failing to clutch out the game. They haven't gone in inhib yet. It's not gonna get much easier for them to get an inhib. So he's about to walk into me. Got with the cleaver, auto E. She can't bubble me off of her. Got with the smite, auto Q. Nami stepped on my bubble! Auto T Mat. Goodbye, Nami. She did that on purpose. She pathed into me to stop me from repicking up my passive. <gasps> Poof! There's the heart still. 
Stinky fish. No step bubble. She's literally stepping on my passive. That little turd. Auto E. Got it. I don't think we can get Trundle. It's too fast. He also has a speed up item plus his soil. Graves is dead. Check his camps real quick. Totally back in the game. The enemies don't even have bounties anymore. I think we got this in the bag. Pick up Titanic. And I think Massage would be good just because how fed Zoe is. To counteract sword shoes, which are so easy to counter. They keep nerfing them every freaking patch. 12 magic penetration. Ooh. It's ridiculously bad. No magic mantles, 20 magic resist. That's way more than it overshadows sword shoes. Almost has double the magic resist sword shoes gives penetration. Alright, pick up passive. Her bubbles, that does, that's so little. It's like two, three hundred damage. She doesn't want to commit to it either. Got the cleaver. W, auto. There's the titanic auto. She misses. I could just, nah, well not Trundle. Trundle's different. But the rest of them, I could kind of just kill them all at once. Oh, I got to get my health back through Mogs. Run! I can also heal off this guy getting in combat with monsters. Nice, nice, nice. That was a really good fight. Got some hearts still. Did have to use Ghost. Wasn't planning on that. Trundle R still is a big chunk of your health, armor, magic resist. Ooh, there's the cleaver and a W auto. There's the heart still. Cleaver. Down you go. Got his ghost and flash. Hey, Zoe, you want a bubble? Oh, that's actually bad. Nami did that same crap where she steps on my passive. She is absolutely determined to do that. Nice. The heart still auto. Red buff finished him off. Heart still titanic empowerment. Ooh, she smited. Boop. Got him with the cleaver. We can dive this. I'm di I'm tanking. Auto titanic. E oh, he freaking sucked me. No. Yeah, he pressed R on my forehead and stole my health. I have to sit back and just throw max range cleavers. If I take damage from them, it stops my mogs. And that's it. GG's. Got up 362 AD. I'll take it. GG's. Whew, what a game. That's the Mundo 2-3 item power spike. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt, we did have the most in the game. Not bad. Damage taken, most in the game. Self-mitigation should be the most. Yes, sir. And for runes, good value. All in all, Mundo Jungle. His clear wasn't bad. What, we did like a 315 or 320 leashless full clear. Not bad. The the ganks are at best average. Let's be fair. Pre-6 ganks, best average at best. But the... The two item power spike of heart still mogs is so hard for most comps to deal with. If they don't have a Rylai's, Leandri's, heal cut character like Bran where they get all three of those all in one. Where you just permanently can't move. It's so hard to deal with them. So yeah, Mundo Jungle is a really interesting character to have in your arsenal. If you enjoyed this Mundo video, let me know what character you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.